Hi guys, welcome to this session in Google Sheets. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a HR tracker in Google. So on the screen, I've got an example of what I'm talking about. So I've got some information for January, February, March, and basically the calendar layout, and then some analysis, how many times somebody's been sick, late, absent, or on holiday, and then a little graph there to give me a visual indicator of the total for these three months. And the whole thing is triggered by letters, these letters, S, L, A, H, and the colors are color coded to match the letters. So if I type S, it will go amber. If I type A, it will go black. If I type L, and so on. It changes color depending on whatever color you've set. And then these formulas here are picking that up. So there's two six on this week. There's one late and there's one absent. And if I type H there, there'll be one holiday. And you can see the graph changing because it's picking it up at the bottom here. There's totals at the bot bottom picking that up. So I'll just show you that again. If I do another S, six now gone up to eight and so on and so on. So what I want to do is recreate just the first month on a separate sheet so you can see how this works. So we're going to sheet two. So the, the top row is going to be title, John Smith. So it's going to come across seven. I need to merge and center that. John Smith. And then the days of the week. So you should go into the middle. And then let's just do center on that one. And then we've got one, two. And if I highlight those two, you can pick up the range, the list. It'll just pull it across to seven. Don't want eight. And let's colour that in so it stands out a little bit. Let's go for blue. Not the best colour. And I'll go for grey on this list. Now, I want this to be a dividing column, so I'll just pull that one in a little bit and then... We need the titles here, so if I put, um, if I merge that into one cell and that one into one cell and that one, and then I can do the actual labels merge. So if we go for sick and then late, then absent, and then holiday, I'll just put holes actually. And I want these all to be on the side. So if I go to format rotation, so I'm after tilt up. Okay, that's good. And then pick a color for each one of these. If I say red for no, mustard for sick, red for late, that's worse. So I make that red. Absent can be black, and then I'm going to change the font on the black because obviously that's going to disappear. And holes can be blue. So those are the colours I'm going for. And then I want to put some labels here. Caps lock on just this. So I'd have to put the whole word in there. A and H. I'll just do the whole row grey. And I'm going to want to move this one down a bit. Like so. So it's in the same line as that. So underneath there I've got space to put my information and then I need to do the rest of the calendar. There's the calendar done. Now I need to do the month there so I need to merge that. Now January and then that needs to go into the center like so and I'll give that a color. Terrible color scheme. Let's pick something brighter than that. That's okay. So now each of these, I think I need to color up. So I'll do the gray thing again. Right, so now what I need to do is I need to copy these labels down. Copy and just paste them down like so. And I do want them at the bottom because I want to do some summary. So if I copy that one, actually, copy paste that there. I'll do and then I can have my little chart there. 
Okay, so now we need to do conditional formatting. So if I highlight that row, and then that row, this is what it's going to apply, and then that row. So I've got my control key down while I'm doing this. And then that row, then to there, like so. So format, conditional formatting, and we need to put these four conditions in. So is not empty. Let's go for let's go for is equal to and s first one. So s is mustard. If it's equal to s, we want it to go mustard. Done. Add another rule. If it's equal to a, we want that to be black. That's it, done. Add another one is equal to L. So this will be red for late. So I want the whole thing to go red. Done. And then the last one is holiday, which can be equal to H, and the colour can be blue. Done test it. So if I type L A H and C. Okay, so that works. So just get rid of, well I'll leave those on there actually. So now I need to do a formula here that's going to count how many times we're late or absent. So it's the COUNTIF function equals COUNT IF you need to select the range, it's asking for the range, the range is just this week, comma, and then if I click up here to get it out of the way, I need to be clicking on this S, and I also need to be dollar signing that range, locking that, I've just pressed the F4 key, and then that's good, so it's picking up one, so when I pull that across, it should say one all the way over, it does, but let's just check that works. Let's do another six so it goes up to two. Excellent. Now that formula needs to be repeated all the way down, so I'll just do it again and then I'll just get you to have a look at it. Count if select the range, comma, click on the cell you want it to look at. Make sure you lock the range because when you pull it across, it will go wrong if you don't, and then that's correct. And then pull that across and then just test it you don't have to test it with everything so sick yeah it's counting it so I'll just do the rest so I've done the rest so just check a couple of these random things to make sure it's adding them up yeah and absent on that one come back absent yeah so it's adding them up so now I need to add all these up so down here I just need to use the sum function, so sum, and I want that control key down, that, 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 and that. Should say four, one, two, three, four, that's good. Pull that across, so that's adding that up. Now what I need to do is create a chart that's going to pick this up. So if I highlight these two rows, go insert chart. Okay, I've got my little chart there. So I want to pull that over wherever you want to put it really. I want to put it over there. I don't want it that big. Like so. So is it picking up the same colours? It's not picking up absent, it should be bl black. So let's just change the colour to so absent. Yeah, I don't want absent to be that colour, I want absent to be black. And don't need the font colour to change. And I want holes to be blue. So change holes to blue. So sick needs to be mustard. So sick. 
mustard and late is sort of red but see if I can get a better red than that yeah okay so we've got the colors now the same as the actual conditional formatting now if you want to put the labels on you've got down here so I'm on late at the minute so it'll just do it for late but if I drop this little arrow down you can do it to all all of them data labels puts the numbers on for you so then this is just set up and it's just a case of maybe making it a look well let's try putting um, borders and all this area so just make it a look see if it makes it any better maybe let's color that area in with something gray or something just to make it distinct and there you go so it's now ready to go you've got your little HR tracker whenever you type anything in there it's gonna pick it up and hopefully the graph will pick it up as well and it did if I put late there again so you can see it it's on two at the moment now it's on three because it's reacting to whatever's here so hopefully that was of use for you thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one